The following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Boatest.com, and today I am on an extended cruising boat made for carrying a lot of people long distances. It's the Endurance 720 Long Range Cruiser from Hampton Yachts. Let's take a look as I do a full features inspection. The swim platform comes out four feet from the transom. There's a transom door leading to the crew quarters. Rails to the outside give us a gate in the middle that latches down. And if we want to remove one of these, there are receivers to put it into. At the stairs, we've got storage to the port hand side, to the starboard side, fresh and salt water wash downs, plus a transom shower. Now the aft deck can be accessed from stairs to both port and starboard from the swim platform. And look at this, open, airy, and roomy. Six foot, six inch overhead clearance. Great seating around a beautifully finished table. And already we're starting to see not only a great fit and finish, but clever use of space. That's the theme that's gonna be carried throughout this yacht. And I'm happy to see this. Side entry doors to both port and starboard. Now we can not only access the boat from the swim platform on a floating dock, but a fixed pier or from boat to boat. And again, the use of space continues with storage, counter space up above, drop down, 32 inch flat screen. And I love to see this, especially in close proximity to the swim platform, a day head. Fully forward, lounge space continues up in the bow where we have two places to relax and watch the world go by. Now let's take a look at the features inside. Access through sliding glass door with stainless steel frame. Fully open, gives us an opening 32 inches wide. Well, what a beautifully laid out salon. Open and airy. No kidding, seven feet of headroom. Windows to the sides give us plenty of visibility through frameless glass. Seating, we have two independent seats with footrests across from an L-shaped sofa and a single seat wrapping around a pedestal table that is high, low, and has storage underneath. The fit and finish and use of space theme obviously continues here. Look at this. African Macquarie cherry raised panel woodwork. Storage everywhere. To the starboard side, a credenza stores the AV equipment and the 49-inch flat screen TV. More of the fit and finish. Look at this overhead trim work. Perfect joinery, recessed lighting above. As we move forward, the next area is divided off by open space, storage, and more storage. To port, a dining area with a table that seats eight, highlighted in its location by the overhead trim work up above, and it's completely surrounded by storage and a 32-inch flat screen TV on the aft bulkhead. And look at this for a clever use of space. Slide-out storage, accessible from the sides. Over to the starboard side, a wet bar. And, you know, before we get into the details of this, I have to say the fit and finish, again, outstanding. 55 mil thick, where the industry standard is 24, 25, and all matching grains throughout the boat because it's all cut from the same tree. And I love the layout of this wet bar. L-shaped counter, granite, raised edge, low and high. Wonderful storage solutions to the back. Wine chiller just ahead to the back, espresso machine, and plenty of storage, including a refrigerator and ice maker. Moving ahead to the galley, I mean, this is just one of those you've got to be kidding me moments. Look at how beautiful this is with outstanding visibility. As for the layout, pretty much wraparound counter work, all raised edges, refrigerated drawers that can be set up in your choice of refrigeration and freezing, convection oven, Induction cooktop, microwave oven, single basin stainless steel sink with a pull-out sprayer, storage, storage, look at it all. Just behind, dishwasher and trash compactor. Look at this deck, granite and it's heated from the diesel hydronic furnace in the engine room along with the decking in the heads which is marble. The raised counter serves as a breakfast bar and look at the stools, how they're secured when we start operating in a seaway. This is such a clever idea, but it could be a little bit better if it were raised just a little bit so that we could also use it as a footrest. But honestly, what I'm most impressed with with this main deck layout is how open and airy and spacious it is. I haven't seen this much room in yachts that are 85 feet, and this one is 72. 
Opening watertight doors are to both port and starboard. To the port side, it opens forward so we can access the deck aft. And over to the starboard side, it opens aft so we can access the deck forward. Now there's a whole other entertainment venue just above in the enclosed sky lounge. Let's take a look. Now this is the way to entertain in style. Sofa wrapping around a pedestal table with expandable leads, storage underneath, plenty of open counter space, TV on an electric lift, and look at this visibility. Now we've got a table forward that's usable by simply removing this, remove this one, flip the seat back, and then these can go back into position for our finished look. And again, the use of space everywhere, nothing gets wasted. Small little space in the middle of the table, storage. And look at this for fit and finish. Wood trim around each of the speakers. And on top of all of this visibility, no concerns over greenhouse effect. Opening skylight, opening vents to the side, opening watertight side door, one, two, three opening windows and an aft sliding door, all combined to bring the outside in. And the beautiful overhead treatments we saw below, all repeated here. And over to the starboard side, the day head. And finally, our last entertainment venue, the aft deck. Starts with a propane grill, storage underneath. The propane is stored under this section. Plenty of open counter space, and right here, single basin stainless steel sink. Over to the opposite side, this client installed his own smoker. And then we have our boat deck that measures 16 feet by 18 feet, big enough for not only two kayaks, but a tender to go in the middle of them, all launched by this davit. 1,600 pounds can launch the boats over to the side or to the stern. Now, let's take a look at the accommodations down below where we have three staterooms with ensuite heads. It just seems like everywhere I go in this boat, I can't help but stop and look at the fit and finish because it's done so well. More of the African Macquarie Cherry. Marble, look at the decking. Marble with an inlaid compass rose. Cherry and holly decking. And look at this work up above. Beautiful full beam master stateroom with a king size island berth located right on the center line underneath the overhead trim that is six feet, six inches above. Windows to both sides include opening port lights to the top so we can have fresh air going right through the whole stateroom. Storage again, two closets, a bureau of drawers, lighted storage to the opposite side. The same lighted storage continues over here along with storage underneath, opening vanity and just behind, walk-in closet. The door to starboard leads to the head where, as we mentioned, the decks are heated from a separate diesel hydronic furnace. More on the fit and finish that I just can't get away from on this boat. Be easier to make a rectangular door, but you curve the top of it, it increases the workload dramatically, and it closes easily and on gaskets so there's no rattling while we're underway, and open against a magnetic catch so we don't have to bend down to release a latch. Back out into the foyer, just to the side, dryer, washer, where do we put the soap? Right alongside. And directly opposite is our guest stateroom. This one features a double berth with dual opening port lights. Just forward and two steps up is the ensuite head. And finally, moving forward, the VIP stateroom. And here, what I'm most impressed with is the use of space for storage. Closet to the side, all storage. Up above, the opening port lights to both sides more storage underneath the berth, even to the side, and just behind the last of our three ensuite heads. Now, there's one more space to the living areas that I want to talk about, and it's the crew quarters, but since this is an owner-operated boat, this is probably going to be used more as guest accommodations. Let's take a look. Well, first of all, we have access to the engine room, but from a living aspect, Plenty of open counter space, recessed single basin sink, storage up above, two bar stools, and take a look at how the bar stools are secured for when we're underway. Round to the other side. Sliding pocket door gives us access to the stateroom. 
Twin berth below, single up above, two opening port lights, and a desk just behind. Now just ahead, refrigerator, plenty of storage. Seems to me that a microwave would give this area complete autonomy from the rest of the yacht, but this owner decided not to have one here. And finally, we have a split head setup, sink and toilet to one side, shower to the other. Well, in my opinion, this yacht represents not only a capable cruising platform, but an entertainment platform that can take up to eight people. Ideal for an owner-operator. That's my full look at the Endurance 720 LRC from Hampton Yachts. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.